Numbered high among Pitwater's many environmental assets is Bushranger's Hill Reserve at Newport. It's not Newport's highest land, Bogola Plateau is about 50 metres higher, but Bushranger's Hill is distinctive. The first historical reference to Bushranger's Hill was by Surgeon John White, who accompanied Governor Philip on an expedition to Barangari in August 1788. On the 24th of August, he wrote, We returned by the same passage along the coast until we came to a convenient spot to encamp for the night where there was a great plenty of cabbage trees and tolerable water. This was at Newport, undoubtedly close to Palm Road, near today's community centre. White continues, While soup was making of some birds we had lately killed, which proved very good, and everything was getting ready for the night, the Governor, the two other gentlemen, and myself took our guns and ascended a hill just above us. From this eminence we saw the southern branch of Broken Bay, which ran far into the country. White is referring to the southernmost end of Pitwater, to Newport, Bayview and Scotland Island. The Northern Beaches Council website offers the following. Bushrangers Hill Reserve occupies 0.29 hectares and is located above Bungan Beach. The coastal ridgeline reaches a dominating peak within the reserve, affording magnificent views of the coastline. Bushrangers Hill contains low, open woodland and coastal heath and scrub communities providing habitat for mammals and birds. The rock outcrops also provide shelter for reptiles. Well, that's a bit ho-hum. There's very little that's useful in that description, like an address. We have no more to go on the Governor Philip and Surgeon White 236 years ago. You have to go to council mapping to discover the address. 26 Carlu Parade, Newport. Now, I looked here about four years ago and was discouraged by the continuous manicured hedge, concluding that this access wasn't practical. But someone, probably council contractors, have more recently cut a hole through the hedge. Easy, right? Well, perhaps not so, because it's steep going over loose building rubble. Clearly, it's just usable, but it's also intimidating in more ways than one. The reserve is comprised of two battle axe blocks of land, with 26 Carlu Parade being one battle axe handle, which we just looked at, and 15 Bungan Head Road the other. So I'll now try the Bungan Head Road access shown on council mapping, which again lacks signage. Here we are faced with a maze of private driveways, some of them built over public land. Again, it is intimidating, but they have to be available to the public. And here is the reserve. At least we can have a look at it now. Bushrangers Hill is a small outcrop of 245 million year old Hawkesbury sandstone that was deposited in an extensive braided river which flowed across older lithic sandstones and shales of the upper Newport formation. The rock is well bedded and contains large cross bedded dune sets. The outcrop is broken into large blocks along the joint planes. Individual blocks have separated, tilted and drifted apart, leaving open crevices and cave-like features. Separation of blocks this large, and their slow movement downhill, is the result of root wedging by generations of trees, particularly figs. From the get-go, Bushrangers Hill, though not the highest land, was an important vantage point, very likely visited by escaped convicts or bushrangers. What it offered was a clear view of the main track, the Newport Road. In 1861, Charles de Boos and a companion walked from Manly to Baron Joey. De Boos describes a lengthy encounter with John Farrell II at Newport Beach. Farrell claimed knowledge of the supposed murder of Aboriginal Bowen Bungaree on Bushrangers Hill in 1853 by Bushranger Casey. But Farrell then admitted his source to be nothing more than unsubstantiated and unconfirmable rumour, and very likely a figment of his obviously rich imagination. Further, it's difficult to believe that Bowen's body would have been taken such a long way from Pitwater to have it registered and buried in a cemetery in Sydney. The blanket distribution lists indicate that Bowen lived most of his time in Sydney, and it is probable that he died there in 1853. Nor does Farrell's yarn being repeated as fact in a history of Aboriginal Sydney 
warrant a change of name from Bush Rangers Hill to Bowen Bungaree Hill. There is simply no evidence to support this suggestion. In a colourful puff piece published in the Sydney Morning Herald on Saturday 28 November 1891, a columnist called The Spectre wrote of villains camped on Bush Rangers Hill from where they could keep their eye on the whole coast from Port Jackson to Broken Bay. The track to Newport ran almost under their nose and given a proper watch, surprise was impossible. So the Bush Rangers Hill became famous in the convict days and from all parts of the country men who had taken to the bush were drawn to the lonely eerie. Then troopers would make a rush only to find nothing but a smouldering campfire. Some old hand had seen the heliograph-like flash of the troopers' swords hours before, had watched the little band as it forded Narrabeen Lagoon and long before it could even reach the track which leads up to the foot of the hill, had given the alarm which once more scattered his mates all over the bush. The problem with this is that you cannot see the ford of Narrabeen Lagoon from here. It's hidden behind Turrameta Head today, just as it was then. Again, it's a fabrication worthy of John Farrell, his ghost at work perhaps. Trig stations are the traditional backbone of a classical survey control work. They form the primary or highest order network from which all other surveys are controlled. The official name of this trig station as per New South Wales Department of Lands Register is Bush Ranger, serial number 1321, elevation 103 metres. Now this 1952 photo published by the Northern Beaches Council Library History Hub is said to be Bungan Beach photographed from the trig station, but that's not true. It's not even taken from the Trigg station and it's not even Bungan Beach. More misleading, wrong rubbish. On October 16, 1954, Newport residents woke to find a 15 metre trawler aground on the southern end of the beach. Now I know this to be true because as a seven year old I spent many happy hours trying to refloat this boat by digging a channel around it. To no avail, you'll be unsurprised to learn. To add to the excitement, Newport was supposedly crawling with hundreds of police searching for a man who had been on the run for three days after shooting and wounding two police officers at Bondi, thus bringing upon himself the largest manhunt in Sydney's history to date. Robert Michael Brown stole the trawler from its mooring at the spit, sailed through the heads, but then abandoned ship because of extreme seasickness, swimming ashore, perhaps to Bungan Beach rather than Newport, while the abandoned trawler drifted unharmed over the pathway to the reef and onto Newport Beach where it grounded. High tide that night was at 10.45pm Eastern Standard Time. I saw one or two police, but perhaps all the other hundreds were at Bush Rangers Hill where Brown was found the next day, hiding in a crevice under a clump of bushes. He surrendered without struggle. Why Bush Rangers Hill Reserve is hidden behind manicured hedges and concrete driveways without signage is a mystery. The original intention of Pitwater Pathways, its raison, was to address this type of issue, to inform Pitwater residents of their wealth of public lands such as this reserve, or of a little known footpath say at Clerval, or a reserve access at Avalon, and so on. We will return to this theme.